Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently de jure warring for Finland to get the entirety of Scandinavia under our control. After we already got the entirety of Britannia under our control, we're still angling to get all of Iberia as well as all of Africa and the papacy under our control by the end of this series. I don't know how realistic that is. It ends in, I believe, 1451. It's going to be tight. I have no idea how we're going to tackle this yet. This, we're going to have to get a bunch of claimants. But we're at war with Finland right now. We can get that done. We can get the papacy dismantled pretty easily, like probably this episode, to be honest. So we get that done. Uh, we could potentially go after something like Sorbia in theory, but that's not really, like, expanding out this direction isn't on our list of things that we want to do before the end of the episode. Or rather, not the end of the episode, before the end of the series. That's not really in scope of what we're angling to do, because our time left is limited. We've got, a, we've got ambitious plans. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to conquer all of Africa in that time. Let alone Iberia, which is going to be awkward because this guy doesn't have a kingdom title here. We can't use Invade Kingdom CBs. This guy has a claim on all of this, but he would become independent. Which isn't useful. And as far as the actual de jure empire goes, we can't usurp this because he considers our faith to be hostile or worse. Hmm. However, I mean, there's no way he's going... Okay, there's no way he's going to allow this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no way. No way at all. But, out of curiosity, is this on male-only succession? It is. So there's not really a way that we can inherit that feasibly. Noted. We'll come back to that. Let's just deal with Finland for right now. So we're going to raise our men-at-arms here. We're going to raise our levy troops. How many are we going to need? 10,000. We're already at minus 14% because apparently they have Gotland occupied, but that's fine. I'm not too concerned about this, even with his allies coming in. Yeah, this should be fine. We'll just raise up like this many troops. It'll be okay. We'll hop in and hit his capital. And we'll see what we end up getting out of that. Fingers crossed that we capture him directly, but he's probably leading his troops. Yeah, he's down over here. Here. That's exciting. Cool. So we're going to head in, hit his capital, and that's going to give us a good chunk. He's sieging down this way. We're just going to wait for our men-at-arms to get here, and then we'll split up our forces. Bombards, levy troops, about like that. And we'll put in a siege commander here. And then these guys, their goal will be to come down this direction, like so. Will that be expensive? Yes. Do we care? No. We're making so much money, like it's irrelevant. We have some Merc contracts that are expiring soon. That's fine. And we're going to head on down. Apparently we've got this bug, so we'll never see any ticking war score. But that's fine. We weren't going to anyway, to be honest. In this particular CB, we were not going to see any ticking war score. I want to head over this direction and try to intercept these guys before they can come fight here. It looks like we're not going to get there in time. Although it was really close. Sad. Actually, they're landing over here. They should have gone after our siege force, but okay. If this is what they want to do, I will allow it. So we're going to catch some forces here. Looks like all of them. This looks like a stack wipe to me. Stack wipe. Stack wipe. Stack wipe. And stack wipe. Beautiful. So that's the war pretty much over. He has nothing he can do at this point. It's it's super over. We just need to get these sieges done. So 15.8%. I don't think this is quite going to end the war. This siege might. Yeah, 97%. That's fine. 
No real concerns here whatsoever. And we'll just wrap up this siege. 15 more days. Cool. Hmm, apparently our father is haunting the halls. Sure, we'll have somebody look into it. We can invite claimants. And to be honest, we should. There we go. We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. Fantastic. And at this point, Finland is now under our control, which means all of Scandinavia and all of Britannia is under our control. We could look to dismantle the papacy now. We would just need to unland the Pope and completely control the region of Italia, which I, I want to double check. Does that include anything over here? I don't think it does, but let's double check that. Cool. So we control everything except for what the Pope has. So we're allowed to do one holy war on the Pope. We could holy war for kingdom. We could even holy war for duchy if we wanted to. This is just a duchy. Now, other Catholic rulers may join this war. And that's okay. We're, we're fine with that. That's, that's not a problem. So we'll declare this war immediately. This is the only holy war we are allowed to declare, and it is directly on the Pope. We'll raise our men-at-arms, we'll raise our levy troops, and we'll see how many people we're going to be having here. They're calling in holy orders. 100,000 troops. That's fine. We can scale to that. No problem. Sure, show this guy in. He'll bring prestige with him. I like it. We'll stop gathering, and then eight days left here. Just double-checking, still 100,000 troops rallying to defend the Pope here. So we're going to split off our siege forces. Cool. These guys are going to head up northward, and these guys are going to siege. There we go. Hmm, I'd like to go up over this direction and see about doing some battle. There we go. We find ourselves at 10%. We're going to go fight another siege here with our bombards. Beautiful. Okay. For a second there, I was like, hang on. Did we lose some of this territory? No. Um, I think... Yeah, these guys are Catholic and decided, despite them being our vassal within our realm, they decided to help the Pope. That's fine. I don't care about that. Whatever. They can do what they want, and they'll lose. They will definitely lose. So they're losing this battle up here. That's great. And we finish up our siege. We're going to go hit Rome, and we find ourselves at 42% war split. We can call a hunt, and we definitely should to work up our prestige. We also have a dangerous faction here, an independence faction. We can do something about this. This is no problem. There we go. Easy. Cool. And apparently I'm uh, dropping some wood on the floor. Fantastic. <laughs> That's absolutely great. It, I, it just fell over. Perfect. Well, we're going to finish our Siege of Rome. And we should probably come defend our Siege Force, to be honest. They're walking away. So this doesn't seem to be too bad. So we're going to head in over this way. Where is the Pope, anyway? Out of curiosity. He is in Rome. Well, Rome has fallen... And that was the end of the war. Cool. So we enforce those demands, disband our troops. And you completely control the region of Italia. Do we not? Oh, it needs to be Venice, doesn't it? We need to have Venice as well. We can Mediterranean conquest it. That's legal for us to do. So we can Mediterranean conquest Venice. I completely forgot about Venice somehow. <laughs> okay. We should have done this first because I think it's possible that the Pope gets re-landed here. Okay. 
I'm going to bring in a few extra troops here. There we go. And they can head on out. Excellent. A Mediterranean conquest is legal for us to do, although it's very expensive, so I would usually avoid using it. And in we go. And hopefully the Pope doesn't get relanded during this. Cool. He's not landed yet, but I think it's possible. So, what we need to do right now is group these guys together. Make sure we have the Siege Commander here. We do. That'll be 57 days. And we need to hand out the Pope territories, right? So, we'll just do something kind of like this. There we go. We don't need to hold that personally. And let's wrap up this siege. Do we get a breach? We actually do. So we're going to siege this. Or rather, assault this. I don't normally assault. But in this case, we do it. We enforce those demands. And that should be the entire region of Italia in our territory. Yes, we can dismantle the papacy. Let the Vatican burn. The Christian's dominion over Rome has finally come to an end. Thanks to the committed efforts of many devoted servants of Allah, all of Italy has fallen under Zaidi rule. The faithful have worked tirelessly to strip away all blasphemous icons and bring the decadent clergy that ruled over these lands to justice. In the face of our undeniable religious su supremacy, ex-Pope Sylvester has even publicly recanted the Catholic faith and converted to Zaidism. Cool. Okay, so there's one of our goals done. Actually, three of our goals, because we wanted to dismantle the papacy, we wanted all of Scandinavia, and all of Britannia. So that's three of our goals done. Two to go. Our other two goals are to unite Africa, and to control all of Iberia. What can we do against this guy? Hmm... Hmm, indeed. This guy is our prisoner. Well, before we do that, we should definitely... I guess we can transfer this sheik over. That's fine. We can definitely create some titles. So, the Kingdom of Venice. Done. The Kingdom of Romagna. Done. The reason we're creating these is for the prestige. Duchy of Latium definitely gets created, and that will be granted to this guy. We cannot hold that personally. So, the Emirate of Latium. There we go. And apparently we hold Venice. We should grant that out to somebody. There we go. Cool. And the Duchy of Venice will be created. That will be granted to this guy as well. And in fact, we might as well give him the Sultanate. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so with that done, now we have 2,396 prestige. So what options do we have here? This guy is our vassal. This guy has claims on the emirate level. So if we were to negotiate his release, demanding his conversion and recruiting him, and even gaining a hook then we'd be able to press his claims instead. Perfect. Now, we declare on this fine gentleman. Seizing... Mm, only the Empire level? It's only the Empire level. Okay. That doesn't really help us. That's sad. I mean, we don't lose anything from that, really. But what can we do here, then? They're on male-only succession. So we would need a female heir if we wanted to inherit that. Actually, this guy is our only heir. Our, our, our only male heir. If we were to disinherit him... Then suddenly, she becomes our heir. Which means, if we press this guy's claims, 
Hmm, he's currently married. Can we enforce a divorce here? And he does already have a child. Eighteen percent chance here. Okay, this is going to be complicated. We're going to bribe these guys to help us. Murder this guy's wife. Oh, we already invited him. Uh, let's get all of these guys involved. Perfect. Not you. You. There we go. How many more? Cool. And cool. We could invite her to our court, but she's not into that. Okay. So all of these people are joining, right? We have dark thoughts, apparently. Uh, we could become flagellant. Perfect. Okay. So that means that this needs to be on hold for the moment. I will consider it acceptable if the game ends with this being lined up for us to inherit. I will consider that to be to be acceptable. So what the plan here, obviously, I, I want to outline this real quick, just in case anybody doesn't understand the plan. The plan here is she dies. He then gets married to our heir. This guy will die at that time. He's in our prison. We will execute him. Then any children that they have will be the heir to both locations as long as it is a male child. And what is the succession law here, actually? Primogeniture. Awkward. We're on ultimogeniture. Is there an easier way to do this? I mean, maybe. We could seize their de jure lands. That would give us some things. Uh, what I really want to do is be able to take the empire title from them. That would be ideal. We would need eight additional counties to do that. Hmm. Would be so easy if we could holy war for kingdoms. <laughs> we simply can't. It's not allowed. It is not allowed. A kingdom invasion would, of course, be really, really good here, too. Or even just a conquer claim. I mean, we don't even have the Mediterranean claims to use. Our time is short as well. We need to keep that in mind. So we need to look at our options down over at Akan. They're minimal. What we, what we would really want to do is get a claimant here. Hmm. We're not allowed to invite claimants. Are we allowed to do this? So because it's matrilineal, he would come to our court. I feel like this is breaking the spirit of the not allowed to invite claimants rule, even if it isn't breaking the letter of it. In theory, I believe that this is technically allowed. But I think we're not going to do that. So, with that in mind, let's check in on, on Houseland here. We can actually negotiate an alliance with him. Interesting. Okay, not a lot that we can do there at this moment. We're probably going to have to do some wars here for claimants. Yeah, there's just not a lot to be done here. County of Showak, and this is at Emirate. Sure. Uh, as far as a doll goes, we've got nothing. Oh, there's these guys here. They're new, actually. I don't recall them being there previously. Let's take a quick look at Abyssinia. Sure. And then there's these guys. Ultimately, we're probably just going to use a, like, kingdom-level claim or an empire-level claim on that. 
Oh, that's all within the Arabian Empire. Okay. De jure isn't going to be very useful there, then. Noted. Definitely noted. So claimants aren't useful here. We could use disinherits to make sure that we would inherit this, in theory. Yeah, that would be fine. No major issues there. So this is a doable thing, this plan here. I think that'll be done in time. We need to take out Akan. So we'll seize all de jure lands, which is a decent chunk of them, to be honest. And this is fairly cheap. So we'll go ahead and declare this. But our primary goal here is actually to capture a claimant. So we're going to raise up our men-at-arms here and raise up some levy troops. How many does he have? 70,000. Okay. Noted. So we'll raise a few extra here. Cool. That'll be more than sufficient. And we're going to split off our bombards and levy troops right now. These guys are going to immediately make for the capital. They'll be followed by this force, which will hopefully catch some of these guys over here. Uh, sure. Ensure it's held. Cool. So we're going to do some fighting here. Magnificent. We're going to head down here. No, not here. We're going to head down here. There we go. Okay. He wants the Sultanate of Aquitaine. Whatever. I, I literally don't care about the Sultanate of Aquitaine. So we're just looking to take this capital, right? Ticking war score is going to be against us eventually. But did we capture anybody interesting in that last battle? No. I'm not shocked about that. We'll see if we get anybody interesting out of this siege. There's also this independence faction that we really don't want to have fire. West Francia really should be allied to us. So we'll do something like that. Cool. And we're going to head up over this way. We did capture some people there. Anyone interesting? That's a negative. Okay. We're going to come down here and siege. Where are his troops? Primarily, they're off over this direction. We could get there with minimal attrition, actually. And I think we do that. We're kind of leaving these guys to run around in our back line, which I don't love. Actually, we're fighting them right here. <laughs> That's hilarious. We're going to head up over this direction and continue to siege. And I think we have sufficient troops that these guys are going to be scared off. We've already won that siege. So we're just going to continue to head over. Ticking War Score will be against us very soon. And we're never going to have Ticking War Score because this bug is happening again. Okay, that feels like that's happening virtually every war now. But whatever. It's fine. We are not actually going to have a problem winning this war. What we want to do is come down here and fight these guys in hopes of capturing a decent claimant. Okay. Our scheme has been discovered, but it's still very, very uh, well off. We just randomly died. Someone assassinated us. Well, that's awkward timing. No doubt about that. No doubt about that indeed. Okay. Well, we're going to need a chancellor here. And a steward. And a marshal. And a spy master. We'll just choose the most qualified people for the moment. And we absolutely do expect that we're going to have some pretty major factionalism here. We're going to need to grant out these castles, putting us at 11 of 9. And we're going to set ourselves to a stewardship education in hopes of boosting that number up a little bit. How old are we? We are two. I definitely didn't expect to be murderated there a little bit. And that does mean that we are actually not able to continue to plan the murder over here.
Matrilineal marriage minus 1,000. Okay, we'll keep an eye on this. If we can get a matrilineal marriage with this guy, and then get rid of this guy in some way, perhaps via an imprisonment and execution combo, then that would still work. That would still work reasonably fine. It would be different, but it would work. So we're capturing these guys while working our way over this way via our sieges. And all of these units are stack wiping, right? There's, there's not going to be any problem here with that. We're going to hop down over this way. There is no ticking war score at this time. And we're fighting these guys no problem whatsoever. Putting us at 76%. Okay, we're going to let this guy lock in here. And we need to move our siege force up to here. They're locked in now. Perfect. We're at 80% war score. 91. 99. Beautiful. This siege will end it. The real question is, do we have any claimants here? Hmm, does not look like it. I mean, this guy's wandering. Okay. I never actually saw any claimants come in. Did I miss that? Let's check our courtiers here. And sort by guest. What do you have? A useful county claim. I'm not too concerned about a county claim. And that's it. So it looks like we got basically no claimants. Exciting. Sure, you may as well be our court jester. Okay, war is over. We'll enforce those demands. Awkwardness definitely did ensue there from that death. There's no doubt about that. We did get some territory away from Akan. And at this point, we need a lot of counties to make the Kingdom of Guinea. So that's a single sheikdom, that's a single sheikdom, that's a single sheikdom. All of those are fairly irrelevant. Noted. Hmm. So this guy's going to become independent, right? There's no doubt about that. But if we can just get this put together... Arranging marriage to ourselves matrilineally is necessary. So how can we do this? And we could imprison this guy and then recruit him later. But that's going to be a lengthy time period. For the moment, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue to work on Africa these guys are a bit on the back burner, but we'll get there, I think. We have options. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Kentogen, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisil, Kadra, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.